I'm in the elevator at the hospital on my way down to get some breakfast. Here I go. Eggs and breakfast potatoes, sausage, yogurt, granola, cappuccino. It's good, good. Hospital food breakfast. Amazing. There's nothing more I can do at the hospital, so I'm gonna go home, pick up my dog, and go home and go to bed. So I'm on my way to my mom's house to pick up my dog. Um, I was able to get through almost every red, almost every green light. Uh, but then I got stopped, but that's okay. No big deal. It gave me an opportunity to turn my camera on. Yay! So, um, I wanted to say something in the elevator, but the elevator, he was on the third floor, so it doesn't really take that long to get down to level A, I guess, level one or something. I don't know. Anyways, um, uh, hospitals, I think, purposely make you feel uncomfortable so that you want to go home to your own bed you know I mean not like feel sick but uncomfortable like this bed sucks um, it's too cold too hot that kind of stuff and the blankets hospital blankets explain to me why hospital blankets are so thin like literally they're the thickness of a sheet um, yes, they have sheets as well, but they're, they're blankets. They are of a different material, but they're definitely not of a different thickness. I don't get it. I don't know why they're so thin. I had two blankets on last night, even with my sweatshirt on that I'm wearing currently. Sleeping, I was still cold. So I had like my face like right here covered with the blanket when I was laying down. Um, so like this part of my face was exposed only. Uh, yeah, so then, um, and Ross has two blankets and a sheet on his bed as well. Um, I've just got the cot. I'm not going back tonight. Tonight I'm just going to be at home. That's why I'm going to go get my dog. Tomorrow I got to work, so that would be why I'm also going home. It's just going to be an easier transition from home to work. Um, yep, yeah. so it'll be nice to sleep in my own bed. Unfortunately, I will be alone, but that's okay. I'll have JJ. JJ will snuggle with me. She's a snuggle bug. Yeah, snuggle bug JJ. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, so yeah, on my way to mom's, and then I will be heading home, so... Let me stop recording so I don't crash. Oh yeah, we're home. You home, JJ? You ready? To, you're home? Hi, JJ. JJ. JJ was very excited to come home. She was so ready to be home. She started whining once we got in the, uh, like on our street. She like knew where she was or whatever. Um, I just got a text message from Russ. They said that they took the packing out of the, his knee. Um, which I'm bummed because I wanted to see that. I got to see the elbow though, and there's there'll be video at the end of this um video at the end of the video to see there's like a a clip. Okay, there's a about a two minute clip at the end of the video of um the ortho doctor taking the packaging out of his elbow. Russ said that the one in his knee was like the worst pain of his life. Um, when I had a stroke, or after I had a stroke, they had, they found a hole in my heart, and to patch the heart, they had to go in and put, like, a, it looks like a button, or an umbrella, like a little mesh thing, in there to patch the hole. Anyways, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, to, the airplane, to get to my heart, they went up through the groin, instead of having a crack open my chest. It went up through the groin arteries. Well, they had to put tubing. It, had, it was probably like this thick around tubing up in my groin um, arteries. And uh, I was awake when they were taking them out. That was terrible. I've never had children, so I'm sure that's worse. 
Uh, but anyway, it's it was terrible. So I understand Russ's pain. Um, I still wish I could have seen it. I would have recorded it. But anyway, at least I got the elbow. I'll put in a picture and the video at the end so that you can see before the they took the dressing off or before they took the packing out and then after. I thought it was interesting. Anyways, um, I'm going to change into my workout clothes. And I don't have to go. It's only 4.48. I got to be there by 7. So 4, 5, so like in two hours, I got to leave the house. Um, yeah, so I'm glad to be home, but it's going to be a lonely night. We go work out and um, I don't know, something else. I'll talk to you later. So this truck is in the driveway, so I have to park on the street. At least it's not November, because in no JJ! JJ! <laughs> there must have been a squirrel or a bunny or something. Anyway, she's back. I'm just gonna sit out here and um, um, just chill for a minute. Yeah. So it's shortly after seven o'clock. I'm laying on the couch, just watching TV. I uh, was gonna go to the gym, but I'm so exhausted. In fact, I'm going to bed now. So please take care of yourself. Good night.